I decided to do very shiny and uh, glossy with uh, silver crusted. It's like a sculpture, it's like uh, a jewel. And it's like under the lights in a fashion show, this is going to just to take the magic. We're just dealing with shape and contour, um, lots of brown shadow in the sockets of the eyes and under the eyes, and highlighting on the cheekbones. So it's very much about matte skin and uh, shade and light. A running theme in Victor and Rolf's collections has been magic, and for their spring collection they really entered a world of make-believe. They were inspired by ballroom dancing, and there was certainly a lot of dancing with the stars in the show. We were in the mood to do something entertaining, and we love the fact that ballroom dancing looks very easy and very frivolous, but at the same time it's very complicated and it's like a ritual. It's very hard. It's about control. Well, we wanted to use like the, the frivolous elements of ballroom, like fringes and fake skin, and, but to use it in a very strict and classic way. Victor and Rolf love illusion and make-believe, but also a very, very strong streak of old Hollywood in this show. Oh, yes, I love that. I mean, we all need that. It's dream, it's, it's elegance, it's refinement, it's beauty, and they kind of bring that uh, romanticism and that sort of uh, what inspires them, I guess, from the past to now, to a very kind of modern woman. to do with music that would bring out the elegance that they try to imbue into the world and uh, and that we both share in common. I'm such a fan of Rufus Wainwright. I love him. And, you know, every designer has a part of them that is consistent. And consistent with Victor and Rolf is the way that they show their clothes. They are showmen and they're incredible at showmanship. Victor and Rolf consider fashion to be an antidote to reality and they took this opportunity to launch their new men's fragrance which is called Antidote. And I think with the show today they definitely crossed the line into fantasy land. Yeah.